get uh, rolled by the Batrider. It's the yeah. biggest thing. I mean, the lane is not the worst with how many you know, one charges you get. You can spam your slight. But there's always a charge. Ice Stone, which does allow him to fight back into the Batrider a little better. My thrift. Spam the slights of Fist. But yeah, it would be nice to see. And you know, maybe rotations six minutes in from this Maiden, this Doom, to try and guard some runes for the Ember Spirit here. He's under a lot of pressure. 21 on 4, though. Not, not suffering in the last hits too much. Great performance out from Nisha. Just a quick peek into that bottom lane. Uh, no kills four minutes into this match. Marana being left alone by the Earthshaker now as he does go and safeguard the water rune. Nisha able to take it before it comes. Got the enemy body blocking. Chains come low from Nisha. An early point in it, but he's pushed back by the flame break and this Earthshaker will unlock that first blood for Stormstormer. Right off the bat. What amazing rotation. To, to know as well that, like, that there is no TP on this Ember Spirit. You don't necessarily have to go contest the War Room, but by just going for it, Storm Stormer angling himself to kind of push Ember towards the bottom. They're really accelerating so incredibly quickly. As down at bottom, Morphling makes a move on the Mirana, but Earthshaker and Batrider are both still here. So Crystalis, after spending Waveform, He's going to get chased down by the bat, and that's some substantial damage with four stacks of sticky napalm on him. The Morphling just straight up dead. I thought, I thought water is meant to have to deal with fire. He just evaporates, turns into steam, and Katami going to take down the Crystal Maiden too. It's all off the back of that move that they just did killing Morphling, because what did it do? It, it forced the TP for Ember. Like, I talk about the, the TP reactions, it's usually a lot stronger when they're under your tower. Oh, Misha? Are we okay? Oh my god, he's, he's one hit away from death, the raise! Oh, pure you got! Finds the take down on Nisha, just solo kills him straight up. And early, they, they're getting some... It's, it's not just kills on support either, usually this is what we see, you know, kill on support here, so yeah, whatever, but they're getting a DP now with the lasso top. Kill Morphling, kill Ember, kill DP, one by one, Secret's core heroes are just dropping. Stormer's an amazing bad player. <laughs> and, and he will keep up this aggression. We casted yesterday some great bad games with how, you know, you just see how fast with these travels you can get from one side of the map to the other, as long as you have heroes that can set things up for you. And you're playing with an Earthshaker, uh, with a Marana, you know, you have a lot of chain stun into each other and the ability to just pressure and, and fight, use those spells. I mean, the nice thing here about this Marana pick, you know, it's not, shot. obviously it's not the strongest thing we've ever seen. She has felt some pressure in this lane, but having that max star storm, I mean, that's like a 300 damage nuke with the extra hit on top, right? You, yeah. If, if, you lo if you come together with this bat, you guys are dealing a lot of damage and secret- Best they can, they've got EXO. Ready to go for Rezo, but with this Moonlight Shadow, there's that fear. People are coming in from the back. They're even scanning on top of themselves. They do have a sentry here for Zayance, which you might want to place. Because Katoomi... Oh, sorry, he's actually already got one down, and they see Katoomi with it. Slight chains. Nisha playing forward, but the Fisher blocks out the Doom and the DP. Making sure there's... There's no access points. And Chen... Scored out with that full spot in the freezing field, but with the hand of God and the rotations in, arrow onto the DP. Rezo, exo forward and kills the Chen off, but Katomi holding it back again with another good lined up Fisher. It looks like Pure is trying to wander up here to join in the fight as well. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Getting themselves in position as the exo is going to expire in about 10 seconds, and Rezo not really able to stick it onto the tier one. Fisher. Katsumi's looking for it. They know Nisha is very low on mana. He does have 14 one charges, but there's a two-man Fisher into the raises from Pure. Lasso as well onto the DP in the back, and Stormstormer very speedily chases forward towards Zayat. Amber Spirit. Entity no longer accelerating out of control. And they're eyeing up Stormstormer. Man, the EKB comes out in time though. That blink, war stop, not working out for Zayat. And he'll be taken down under that mid-tier one. You had no place okay, here. Positives, you didn't use your Doom, which means when you're alive, guess what? You can go again. You also got the 9 second uh, TP from Stormer. Like, at the end of the day, Zayat is the support. Oh, that arrow. Toby misses it on Nisha. Katomi tried to set it up on the Ember Spirit. They get de-warded, they lose their own shaker. Now it looks like they're losing Toby as well. Secret striking back. Bottom tower is under a lot of wiggle room now here for Chris. 
I'm, I'm a big fan of this damage Radiant's reduction items. High rate pack of Toby's by Zaya right now. Yeah, I see the team up top. Arrow actually does connect. Zaya's trying to sidestep it. Well, there we go. Entity up in that top lane. Find the Doom, and this is how they move. Pure Requiem down on the bottom. Looking for Puppy's Maiden, but that Force Staff gives her the distance she needs, and there's no way to catch Nisha here. Cats are only too distant. Can't come in with a Blink Echo. They are trying to rally around this. Shadow now, you know, the ages. Still has it for a minute and a half. Shadow, though, from Entity. Oh, they're coming in from behind. They see resolution. The Fisher Arrow, Chain Stunning, and Pure. So much damage. <laughs> TP's out from Secret now, trying to retreat, but they spotted Crystalis. Oh, not quite. Can't get in there with a the lasso. Don't find the Morphling. I feel, I feel the element of fear playing as this morphing. Everything rides on you managing to get off your strength gain morph in, in a moment's notice. He doesn't have a BKB. He's even going for Manta. He's actually playing a little quite greedy here because a single Fisher could just end his life. And yeah. they have nothing to stop it. The only thing they have is a displacement from Puppy with the four staff. Otherwise, I mean, what is there? There's so Glimmers, there's... Has fallen. Yeah, so a four star. And you should just BKB killed. top. Oh, did Radiant's he? Middle yeah. Oh, dear. BKB into BKB. Sees the Doom, stops the split push, drags Zayas back. With his TP already being expended, he is stuck down here. Just try and get what he can out of it. Oh, he dooms the bat. Dies to the arrow, Nisha's in, Remnant's forward, Glide there comes. The Hand of God, though, five minutes time for Storm Storm. Up to turn and fight, but look at Nisha go! Nisha, what are we doing? Gems on the floor, we'll grab it up. While the rest of Entity, they are storming team towards Resolutions. Death Prophet. So Secret lose three in the end to kill off the Batrider, and now Roshan cracked wide open for Entity. Two little separate fights. I thought he had the potential to turn, and, and when he did, I was like, okay, where's the rest of the team? You look over on the other side of the map, and Secret has what a, like a good idea from them. Yeah, they lost heroes, but to try and engage the rest of Entity's heroes to stop that and get that back kill, not bad at all. I mean, it could have gone... It could have gone a different way. Dyer's bottom Pure is, is very is strong right now with this Daedalus. I think it's really because of the yeah. farming game and you know, what entity he have. I mean, that's a massive gap. Right. That's 33 minutes. It is, it is huge. A massive yeah. chasm between the SF and the Morphling. Pure is insanely good. And what a strong hero for him to be on as well. Oh, Fish Arrow. The Enchant. I do chain stun the Ember. Lacking the follow through though. Fishman and Pure now rejoining the squad and getting up to high ground. They see Puppy. That's a freebie. A shard from SF fearing her up and the Fisher catching more flame. They've got the damage. They need the catch now. Jump forward. Where is it? It's the flame break to push it back into the Shadow Fiend's damage. Pure comes out with a double kill and Secret running out of time now. It felt like they could drag this to late game. Split push for days. Anisha's <laughs> trying his hardest to, to shove out that top wave, but Entity they're charging towards your base now. They're on your doorstep, banging on that front door of the mid lane racks. Not even asking for permission. No, no, let me in. They're just going to break that one down. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Way, way too far ahead. Uh, you always have a comeback potential with this Doom. It's coming up in 15 seconds. Dyer's going to TP out. He's away. Close. Looking for the Fisher from Katoomi. They're also looking top. Everywhere you peek, it's Entity Don't chasing heroes. They decided not to go straight high ground because the creep wave wasn't quite there. Going for the Radiant side lane kills as well scan. as both Radiant and Dyer scan in the same spot. Where's Nisha? Where are, where are the people hunting Nisha? Nobody sees anything. Keep them confined to your base, but make this net worth really grow and grow and grow. Because right now, yes, there's a lot of it in pure. I mean, like him alone, Prepared to carry, that's like nearly a 15k lead now over the other carry. Has but the killed. Ember is still up there. Well, up with that. Just trying to buy time. Radiant's Get a bit of space for Nisha to push out top. Maybe even just give up this mid lane of barracks. Difficult to see how Secret fights, especially when Entity are the ones to get the jump. Blow up Puppy quickly. Radiant's and there's your first set of barracks. Pure deciding the ranged one, not really worth it. Go down to bottom instead. Need to get that creep wave forward, but Nisha doing a, a good job yet again. He's, he's pesky, he's causing problems, split pushing. Keep Entity away from their base, and there's another glyph. 
thanks to that tier three dying. Secret definitely just feel Radiant's super pressured. Task. They don't know how to really approach this because your Radiant's idea is you want to get the Doom off, but surrounded. as long as Aegis is in play, it's Radiant's so hard to commit like that. Doom and if you do, I don't know, say smoke around and try and find someone on the back line, say you catch Storm Stormer, Radiant's right? You have to, you get this Doom off and then you have the Chen Mech, the Chen Hand of God. You're gonna get a Fisher in the middle of you. It is so much, and Pierce is gonna turn around and start hitting you. Pierce is gonna turn around and hit four. Yeah. They're, they're going for game end. 30 seconds left on this Aegis. But well, we had a bit of a bang at the start of this game, but it looks like it's ending with a fit. They've got a blink doom off Dom Zayat in. Dylan's got a doom on the Chen, so no hand of God. Real resolution. He's in there with his spirit side. He's trying to heal up with the damage from the SF and the bat. The Stormstorm bat scaling with his Witchblade, just clicking people down. Nisha, Chrysalis, what can they do? The blink echo slam from Katarm. He catches out the ball. We'll wait for the way the buyback from Secret now coming into play. But Pure has the second life. Respawns, stands his ground, keeps Secret back in their base. They've lost two lanes of racks already, and uh, I don't know, a, a slight team fight victory for them, getting the Aegis kill, forcing Entity to buy back on the Earthshaker, but they've had to expend two of their own on Rezo and Zayat. That's one way to do it, just doom the Chen. You don't have to worry about Chen saving oh, anyone if he's dead. up and Hurricane Pike back to tier resetting though now. They can't go straight for the throne, respecting secret damage, but they go for the reinitiation onto Puppy. Get a simple kill instead, while Toby leaping back. Doesn't have another charge though. Caught by the Glypnir, and changed in. Katarumi though with a stun coming. Earthshaker catches the kill they need and GG is called. Secret did get a team fight at the end of the game, but it wasn't a win for them. Armor. Paymail of a, of a phase boot and uh, the soul ring. All these components gave you armor, which lets you lane into this pretty nicely. But nowadays, people aren't buying this stuff anymore. We see a lot of strength heroes going, these double braces. We see a lot of like. One Falcon rush. Blades, one rush, yeah, exactly. So I don't know what Pure wants to buy. Looks like he's even just going a blade of attack. I think they want to play super aggro. Yeah, it looks like it. Zayat's is going to come down here, though, as they try and swap these lanes around and put the monkey against the lead. Like, they wanted monkey or razor against the Legion at the very least. But he's still stuck in this undying against Bristleback lane, which doesn't feel too nice for Crystalis. Zayats, though, getting some serious damage onto Pure. And the thing with this... Components of boots, you know, but it's it's just nice seeing like the things that he values in the lane. Because it could just be easy to go, okay, I'm playing into Quills and Monkey King, I need armor. Right, but he chose the other options first. Also, Rez is dead top. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How do you even end up down there? I, mean, I don't know, Katsuomi and Toby just closing in on him. Poppy Chan not able to... To help out the Razor, I'm just going to steal an Eidolon for the moment. They'll come back in though, another Malefice is ready, and that's up to level 2. The stun's going to come out, and Puppy doesn't have a stick or anything, so a double kill for Toby in the end in that top lane. Just to finish my thought, like, it shows, right? The aggression that Pure and, and Fishman were able to output because of like, the decision to go with laser attack first allowed them to kind of dive that tower and get those kills, right? Just to, like the tiny, tiny decisions that compound into... Actual yeah, meaningful results. results yeah. yeah. This means like Crystalis has no ring of health yet. He's still a couple hundred gold away from that. Pure 42 CS just going to turn with Fishman to try and fight Zayats, but I think they know that Puppy has left that top lane. Uh, it's not just Puppy. They're doing a full yeah. lane swap seven minutes in. Usually feels like laning stage should be breaking down now, but Secret wanting to bring numbers and make things a bit more comfortable for themselves. Get on to Pure. Down the TP home, there's no stuns remaining. Pure, he's home safe and sound. Oh my god. And that's, a, that's a four hero move from Secret. <laughs> if this was a pub, bro, all chat. Four heroes for what? <laughs> Going for this additional wave. Armor is there. And stick charges for Pure as well. Three heroes around him, though, and a nice wall's gonna slow him down to a crawl. My goodness, yeah, the damage from his support, Monkey King. Shredding through the Legion. A huge pickoff for them as Entity, they, they look to try and get in on top of Puppy, but unable to. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Is down, that tower? Yeah, down to Secret Dyer's having some very good wards. Has fallen. In that triangle, spotting where Stormstormer is, no, there's no real rotation threat. Easy tier one. And Puppy just defending his own down bottom. 
chase the Chen down. Get the damage in. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And the two stone for good measure. Straight onto your mid. Radiant's bottom tower. Oh, anybody could TP into the fence. Oh. They, they, yeah, Dyer's I was like, they, they can maybe smoke to mid. Fallen. You can't give up this tower like this. And you have to blink on Toby. Oh, do they? The oh, two heroes next to, to each other. Cancel. You're right. That's off to the side. The blink. Yeah. Start on the razor. Chain to save all the resolution. The duel's there with the hand of God and Tornado delaying this move forward from Entity, allowing Rezo to survive. We get off another plasma field. There's Fishman down in the river, blown up by Crystalis. <laughs> Sun used by Monkey. Be in two seconds. Dyer's I don't think they can do it. They're all pretty low on resources now. Yeah. I'll just have to let this tower fall. Dyer's I don't need that tombstone on top of it. It feels like uh, Secret are, are in such a strong position for now until NC can get their BKBs because it's like, yeah, okay, I have Blink, but I need to wait for like, as well as that. Heal and counterplay from the ten. That's a big kick though on the razor. Another dual victory for Pure. He desperately needs the, the gold influx here. He was bottom of the net worth of all the cores. Zayat's up in the top jungle. He's in on top of Fishman here. The tombstone high ground. Good placement. He drops the Verdurous Dale, but that's not healing him up against the monkey and his statues. Christmas also came across for good measure. Secret giving, as good as they take. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. They're much applying good pressure right now. They're splitting themselves up on the map in a nice way. Yeah, it's a much better showing here from Secret, really matching entities' moves. And make, making some of their own, which they struggle to do in game one. There's a lot more, this is the thing, right? There's a lot more drawing on the map, a lot more, a lot more real activity from Secret. The figure just died. Like, <laughs> within three seconds of links, like, ah, I see ya, you're gone. I guess like the Dyer's option there is if he can get a lot of high armor. Katomi, solution. He's played into the hands of Entity here. They spotted the mix, they went aggressive, and they give another dual win over to Pure. Storm, Storm is alone bottom, and they're, they're trying to TP Anisha down there, but they're not going to be able to get a catch on to anybody. Top tower Might actually be Storm, Storm that goes hunting for the Invoker now. He's, t he's pinging it out, saying, hey, boys, we've got vision, we see them coming, I'm going to go for this. Yeah, he's got the... That's what I mean. Sees Nisha. Invoker stunned. They've got him caught up. The chain disables, and even a dust net coming out of Storm, Storm is Lena, making damn sure Nisha dies. And like this, this is where we see how quickly Entity move. They get a pick bot, the three heroes swarming, two moving in towards mid as well. So they're making sure that Secret don't have any places to kind of shove out and find farm apart from that top lane. Entity are doing a great job. Like I said about that so first thing, I mean, Nyx is doing that for you. Oh, this is desperation from Secret. They do kill the Nyx, but Pure and Fishman are going to walk it off. First BKB from Resolution. Nets him a kill on the Nyx Assassin. And maybe relieves a bit of pressure and buys time for Nisha to respawn. If they can de-ward off it, it's really good. Oh, true, yeah. Because uh, yeah. right now, entities see way too much. They have a ward in the triangle and a ward in the bot jungle. Anytime secret move to any part of the map, they're very much aware of who is where and how, like, what moves they can make. Oh, okay, this guy's showing on the triangle. Let's go bot and get a kill. You know, it's free. That guy's not there. Someone's showing in a lane. You know, everything becomes very to them with these wards, so I would love to see Secret being able to, to oh, get rid gem. of a couple. Yeah, uh, nah, Jim's, Jim's kind of scary. I don't know about attack. that. Just buy a gem, it's fine. Oh, okay. Look, they're playing on the wards. Here comes Pure. Under his ward, though. I need you wards. That. I mean, I just the vision game is now so much more in Nexity's favor again. I love seeing cores by by dust and sentries, right? We had Storm Storm yeah. with the dust, got Pure with a the sentry. They're going around, spotting invis, D ward and stuff. Such a, such a burden relieved from your undying. <laughs> is he buying it or are they get, giving it to him? Because it's more of a play of like, hey, can you go de ward this for me? I'm scared to do it because I don't want to die. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure, but it's just okay. the fact that they are giving up an item slot for, for him. Yeah. Uh, that's already enough. Like, I, will yeah, I, I will gladly buy a reveal and give it to my core if they would just move a stick out of their inventory. The stress of. Oh, they're going to miss. They've got two stone, the potential to blink back in with a black hole. And there's the duel, finding Zayas Monkey. Quick and easy over on the McGall. No, the heel for the black hole! Toby! He's found the three of them! All dragged into it for the turnaround. 
there for a secret. They have withstood the damage. A Crystalis charging forward now onto Fishman. What entity were able to turn that and swing hard, but secret too tanky. Tank horse that again. What the hell? Hey, I thought it was so big for them when they got that three-man black hole, but they actually just had no depth. The ten heals were absolutely insane. That duel was meant to be a quick kickoff into, you know, having the numbers advantage and being able to keep fighting, but Pure was totally locked in on this duel, Dyer's getting linked tower. the entire time by Razor, even inside the black hole. They just Dorma, that's why. That would be why. He's I time out. No black hole, you can He's going BKB up, but look at the damage from Stormstormer! The Chris! Oh, he's got him! Down you go! Three heroes in the deck, and Puppy, he's up next! Triple kill! Make it an ultra! Come on, baby! Give it to him! Oh, pure, come on! <laughs> oh, Maneeing! The quick moves out on the map again. Entity TP bot, these boots of travel paying dividends, and the Storm moving into mid for another duel from Pure. Oh, the damage from that mana burn, nuking the Invoker down, the win comes right at the end! Zayat, he goes Wukong's out, tries to mischief away, but it looks like Entity, happy with what they've got, disengage, do a bit of a taunt on their front lines, and regroup together as Stormstormer sprints back towards mid as the five-man death ball regroups. Radiance middle time. Oh God. Under no, attack. when Pure picked LC, I thought to myself, you know, last game, he has nearly double the network of the enemy carry. Right, Elsie is not really a flash bomber. She does not have that easy way to nuke down a wave. It's got to be harder to get high network, right? And he went for a blink. I'm like, yeah, yeah he's playing way <laughs> sacrificial this game. But you look at that Radiant's network, and he's right up there. Where, where's your hand to minus, Legion? That, that needs one. Got a blink dagger. Oh, I got 122 bonus damage off my duel. Stuns on Razor. Trying to kill him, or trying to. <laughs> oh. Storm Stormer! <laughs> Yeah, he's, just a, he's just a 40 mil artillery can launching projectiles straight through the heart of Rezo, dead for 40 seconds. Your entire lane mid's gone. They think about tier fours, but eh, shifting away now. Yeah, well, you don't have Tombstone, it's going to expire in a bit. You do have Blink Black Hole again, though, with a BKB. Very true, very true. That's like pure, yeah, pure, come on, taunt. Press the taunt Dying's button. I know you want to. You're on that Radiant's high ground. No hand of God, he can just duel whoever he wants, and I think Radiant they will die. And yeah, dodges tornado. Radiant's bottom Second lane Radiant's claimed. Bottom There's the taunt on the high ground. Thank you, Pure. Being pinged by Stormstorm. Storm. Come on, dude, get back. We're all retreating, and you're walking up towards enemy tier fours. Oh, Honestly, such a nice place to set up as well. Yeah, uh, they're playing super clean. Oh, right now, like, on secret, you see Lena. You him down, swipes through, and Entity with great vengeance falls to GG! It's a 2-0 victory! What's that GG for sure?